The souls were wandering around the garden, floating, dancing, delicately moving, and talking about other levels and realities. They would talk about planet Earth the most. Manto always thought that the Earth had divine energy, and therefore life that humans experience must be truly fascinating. She wished to go down to planet Earth and experience the life, the love, but she had to sacrifice her soul in order to go to Earth. So one day she went to the sun and sacrificed herself, burned through the flames to be transcended to the other reality, so-called Earth. She stopped by the moon and got her wings. She said one last soul goodbye to the moon and left Intermundia. She felt the atmosphere and got transcended to the earth. The consciousness through her trip was nothing like she had ever experienced before. She was trying to understand the flesh she was tra- transitioning into, trying to feel every little piece of her while breathing consciously through her new living cells. When it was time for her to enter this new commune known as society, she met real life people. Every time she met a new soul, she was amazed by it and she would celebrate the union of meeting a new one. That's what they used to do anyways, where she was from, so she didn't know any better. They didn't always share her enthusiasm, yet she didn't give up trying. They asked where she was from time to time. I come from skies, she would say. Nobody understood her. She was eager to find earthly love since she sacrificed herself for it. Yet she wasn't the only one who died to find that chemical fuck up called love. It got confusing time to time and Manto started to doubt herself. Maybe I'm just a lost soul who thinks of herself as the warrior of light, she would say. She was trying to share the love Yet she got used, abused, and it sucked the love out of her and left her all alone. After all, her consciousness turned into confusion. I'm not a warrior, I'm just a spoiled little girl looking for attention on earth, and I wish to think of it as love. Well, maybe she was, maybe she wasn't. Too bad she didn't live long enough to find that out. She burned away with flames once again leaving only fake tears and good wishes behind.